What's going on guys? I'm seeing Pear circulating on Twitter, so I thought I'd hit up this video, see if it is worth checking out. It does have a very small market cap, but it does have a lot of pros and a lot of risks. So in this video, we're gonna do a review, and as always, none of this is financial advice. Pear swap, it is about five cents right now. It's up 6.9 cents. Fully diluted value is five million. However, they did launch this putting all of it into circulation. Uh, basically, we're gonna get to a little bit of more of that in the tokenomics, but there's a hundred million total supply And if you go to the max on the chart, it looks like it goes back to the 17th of May of this year Which is about five months ago and since then at current prices it has done about a 10 to 12 X their Twitter only has 5149 let's make it 5150 followers it's followed by a few people that I'm tracking a lot of these look at early altcoins. So what does it say here? Start pairing, good little play on words. Pair swap, flagship product of pair token ecosystem. Peer to peer and over the counter abilities. Safer, faster, and more anonymous trades. From their main website, unleash the power of decentralization. What is pair? Pair provides a platform for users to make direct peer to peer over the counter transfers of any cryptocurrency. By pairing up one user with another, Pair circumvents the need for liquidity, taxes, and they're talking about taxes on the actual tokens, not general taxes, and avoids projects charts being negatively impacted by sales. Pair provides, wow, that's such a tongue twister. Pair provides advantages to large investors wanting to buy or sell massive amounts of any token without negatively affecting the chart or losing out to taxes and price impact, used by small investors that prefer over the counter but are wary of getting scammed. And I've noticed this is how I feel. If you go into discords or telegrams for some of the smaller cap coins, sometimes the only way you can buy them is over the counter at the time, but you're trusting the escrow services within the discord or like who is the trusted entity. And if you're paranoid or worried about scams, it's kind of hard to want to use. So this platform would maybe take away some of that fear. Developers and teams wanting to take profit without hurting their own projects. And I guess this could be looked at as good and bad. If the whales are dumping on their own project, the price is usually a good indicator that the people have walked away. So if you're not seeing that, then that, that could be missed. It, they could potentially, I guess, maybe do a rug pull, I would imagine, in some sort of way without doing it in a way that hurts the price. And investors of all shapes and sizes wishing to avoid snipers and sandwich bots. That's it for the webpage. So let's get into some of the docs here. That's gonna be the rest of it. Although they do, they talk in just normal language. So I've highlighted the most important parts in my opinion. So firstly, an introduction here. So they say, by pairing one user who wishes to sell a certain currency with another user who wishes to buy that same currency, pair facilitates and simplifies over-the-counter and peer-to-peer -peer transfers. And by providing the users with a secure, impregnable middleman, the pair platform and its immutable smart contracts, the system is impervious to manipulation or exploitation. So you don't have to trust any actual people, but you do have to trust their smart contracts. And we're gonna get to potential risks here in a second when we get to the roadmap. Paraswap supports all forms of cryptocurrency, including stable coins, Tether, allowing users to either publicly list or privately trade whatever currency they would like. There are no limits as to the size or frequency of trades. And this is key for the actual pair token itself. To take advantage of the pair platform, users will need to hold a nominal amount of pair, the native token of the pair ecosystem. And it is a pretty simple and intuitive setup. So all you have to do if you wanted to do a private sale is connect your wallet. You're gonna have to buy some pair tokens, and there is a tax on that. There is a 4-4 tax, so 4% buy, 4% sell tax on the pair token itself. Then you would go to the pair platform and you would create a pool, essentially, and it would be a sell pool. You choose the token you wanna sell and you essentially send it to the smart contract, and that pool, because you chose to do a private sell, you're gonna be issued a unique link that you can share with people, specifically certain people that might that you might be wanting to trade with. And the buying works pretty similar. If you clicked on the hyperlink, then you would just need to connect your wallet. You'd have to have some pair tokens. You would come over to the pair platform, you would use the link, and then you would just send your stuff and the smart contract split it out and send it where it's supposed to go. They've also got live pools that you can come and browse that people have created. And they're just saying, hey guys, this is my offer that's kind of out there. Almost, you can maybe think about it like an eBay or Craigslist. And if you like the deal, 
you can make an offer and then you go through the trade or not, but you can come in and browse if you want. Some of the benefits of using pair swap. We've already touched on a few of them. So quickly through here, there is no price impact because we're trading peer to peer. There's no automated market maker that, that has to, you know, shift their assets in the pool to drop the price. You're not going through a centralized exchange or anything like that, which is also going to mess with the prices. Peer to peer, no price impact. And because there's no price impact, you're not gonna be messing with the charts. There's also unique buying and selling opportunities and bot free trading. They say here that with the pair system, users have access to pricing options and token amounts that may, may be unique to their specific uh, platform. And the risk of being the victim of malicious trading bots, be it front running, sniping, or sandwich bots is entirely removed. And then you've also got competitive pricing on trades and no project tax, like we've already talked about. Real quickly on the tokenomics, it is pretty straightforward. The ticker is pair, it's on the Ethereum network. There is a max supply of 100 million and a 4-4 buy sell tax like we've already talked about. And here to the allocation, 80% of the supply will be sent to Uniswap on launch. And I believe that's already happened. 20% of the supply will be held back. 10% for early partnerships and 10% for centralized exchange listings. And I suppose at this stage with only a $5 million market cap, if they were to get a centralized exchange listing rather you know, pretty fast and pay for it, you could see a potential pump there. Again, not financial advice. They do have a reward system for the top holders and those that hold for a long period of time. So the rewards, this occurs through a very small platform fee that's charged each time someone uses PairSwap, enabling us to collect fees in a wide array of tokens. The top holders are then rewarded through a simple airdrop system, allowing them to build a strong diversified portfolio purely due to many different tokens that will be traded on pair swap. The top holders eligible for these revenue sharing airdrops will be determined not just by bag size, but also by the length of time they've been holding. So the way I'm reading that, if you and I were to establish a trade and execute that, but it's like some a couple weird tokens, you know what I mean? There's gonna be a tax there on those tokens, but instead of those tokens being swapped and then a fee being distributed, those tokens just get split up and then airdropped to the bag holders, which is kind of interesting. It will give you exposure to a bunch of random and different tokens. Although with something like MetaMask, I don't know that you would necessarily see those tokens unless you imported them into your MetaMask wallet, but maybe there's a bit of a claim function or something like that that allows you to claim them and add them to your MetaMask at the same time. They've also got a burn. So to create a pool, trade, or a swap, a requirement is in place to burn 1,000 pair tokens. This measure ensures the essential need for purchasing pair tokens and maintains the authenticity and value of the pools and trades. The gas fees are a little bit high though. So gas fees in DAP can be slightly higher than regular transactions because their transactions involve multiple transactions, including the burn transfer of tokens between the two parties. So you just gotta keep that in mind. And if you do use the platform, you want to make sure that you're using Flashbots. Flashbots protects RPC, helps insulate transactions from potential vulnerabilities. And setting it up is really not that bad. You just add a custom network called Flashbots Protect RPC, and then you can do your trading on that network. They do seem to be transparent about where they're spending the money here. So they got a budget sheet in their docs. They've paid for a coin market cap fast track, coin market cap supply verification, integration in OKX and other partnerships. And so far they've spent a total of $210,000. And I'm assuming that this is coming from the taxes on the token sales. This is where my biggest concern is probably at this stage in the project here. It still needs a lot of audits and it is still very new. So it needs a token audit, peer to peer audit, public pools audit, right? They have launched the revenue share as far as I, like I mentioned earlier, I think it was either today or yesterday that they did the first distribution. So maybe they've actually done these audits as well. They also wanna add support for other chains, which I think would be great. And they're also looking to get top tier listings, DEXs and centralized exchange partnerships, which as I mentioned earlier, should be bullish for the project. The project seems pretty interesting. I haven't seen one that is specific to over the counter sort of trading and providing somewhat of an escrow service for that. So we'll have to see if this if if this catches on but let me know your guys's thoughts down in the comments and if you're still here don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you're interested in my portfolio allocation you can also check out the patreon see you on the next video